An estimated 4.4% of U.S. adults experience bipolar disorder at some time in their lives. Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Baker, psychiatrist and co-director of the McLean Institute for Technology and Psychiatry. So you've heard of bipolar disorder, but what is it really? Bipolar disorder is a mental condition that causes changes in mood, energy, activity levels, and concentration. And it affects people's ability to carry out even the most basic day-to-day -day tasks. Someone with bipolar disorder may have states of mania. This is where days can go by where you have a decreased need for sleep and increased periods of activity, such as cleaning in the middle of the night, sending lots of messages. These extremes come all at once. And to the person with bipolar disorder, it may feel like they're moving from point A to point B fast, and it feels great. But without the proper care and treatment, it can be like driving in a car on the Pacific Coast Highway without any brakes or guardrails. Depressive episodes can look and feel just the opposite. Decreased activity, even during the day, and a huge amount of effort required to do even the most basic tasks, such as completing your laundry or cooking something to eat. Bipolar disorder is described in ancient text as far back as 2,000 years ago. In fact, the ancient Greeks and Romans are responsible for the terms mania and melancholia, which later became manic and depressive. They even discovered that using lithium salts in baths calmed those in a manic episode and lifted the spirits of those in a depressive episode. Lithium is still a common treatment for people experiencing bipolar disorder. So how do we treat bipolar disorder today? Treatments are typically a combination of medication and psychotherapy. Medications are primarily what we refer to as mood stabilizers for evening out the highs and the lows. Psychotherapy or talk therapy can help you understand and master any problems that are impacting your ability to function in your job or your life. It can also help you maintain a positive self-image and helps motivate you to stay on your medication. At Mass General Brigham, we're studying new ways to assess for bipolar disorder. Along with a group from Carnegie Mellon, we've been training computers to help evaluate mental health conditions. Using a camera and a microphone, a computer is able to analyze facial expressions and voice patterns. It measures how fast someone is speaking, whether the tone of their voice changes, even the degree to which they're shifting around in their chair. Having these kinds of measurements helps us to really ground the kinds of treatments we provide. In addition, we're designing software that can help tailor the individual's care experience, all using their own data, such as results from an MRI scan or a blood test or an activity tracker or even their phone. This helps us get them to the best treatments faster. It's important to remember that at the end of the day, our goal with treatment is to help equip individuals who are experiencing bipolar disorder with all the appropriate supports they need to live life to the fullest in the ways that they choose. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Justin Baker. For more mental health videos, click here. And don't forget to subscribe here.